Hey guys, welcome back to another senior CrossFit video. My name is Chandler, this is Kira. We're gonna be your coaches for the day. We're gonna start out with our warm up like we normally do. Kira is gonna demonstrate all of the movements and then I'll go through the rep scheme. First one is gonna be a good morning. We should be familiar with these by now. So you're gonna drop the hips back, slightly bending the knees and bringing our chest down to parallel. We're really trying to keep a tight back and you should be feeling this in the hamstrings. That's what we're trying to warm up. After that movement, we're gonna move on to a squat to calf raise. So just an air squat. We've done this as an accessory movement into a calf raise, just like that. Feel free to go halfway down if you need to instead of that full squat. You can do it from the side now. Remembering all of our points of performance. Perfect. Next movement we're gonna do is called a propeller. So Kira's gonna show us kind of how we can transition into this movement. So we're gonna start by swinging the arms back and forth opposite directions. And then once you feel comfortable, we're gonna to try to make a full circle, bringing the arms in an opposite direction. If for some reason this is too difficult or just feels awkward and you don't feel like you're getting it, just swing your arms back and forth and keep the movement at that. Last thing we're gonna do is a cross body swing. So rotating the arm that you have on top each time. So you notice she's switching back and forth. All right, so the rep scheme for this is gonna be a three minute AMRAP, so as many reps as possible. We're gonna do eight of the good mornings. We're going to do five squat to calf raise, and then we're gonna do five of the propellers, five of the cross body. Once you're done with all of those movements in that warm up, feel free to come back to us and then we're gonna move on to the stretching um, before we get to that workout. All right, after we finish up that warm up, we're moving on to the stretching. Kira's gonna demonstrate the movements for us today. First thing we're gonna do is wrist circles. So put those arms out in front of you, rotating those wrists around in a circle. We're gonna do that about 10 times and then rotate inward or the opposite direction of where you started. Once you're done with that, we're gonna do some flexion and extension. So putting that palm out in front of you, using the opposite hand to pull the fingers towards your body and then flip the wrist or the hand down and then pull the fingers toward the body. We're gonna do that for 10 to 15 seconds on both hands. Next, we're gonna do some ankle circles. So start with one leg out straight, other knee bent. Rotate those ankles back and forth 10 times and then rotate them inward or the opposite direction of how you started. Switch legs, repeat the same motions. And then we're gonna do some ankle flexion and extension. So all you're gonna do is point that foot down and then flex it towards your body. Do that 10 times each foot. So we're gonna do a hamstring stretch using a resistance band, a towel, or a scarf, anything that you can grab onto both sides and get around your foot. Pull it towards your body so you feel that stretch in the hamstring and in the calf. Hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds on each side. And then once you're done with all of those movements, come back to us and then we'll go over the workout for the day. All right, hopefully you're feeling a little bit more warmed up. We're gonna move on to our workout for the day. Kira's gonna demonstrate the movements that we're gonna be doing. First one is gonna be a deadlift, making sure that we're using those thumbs to measure our hands, going down just below the knee, dropping those hips back, keeping a really tight back and a tight core. And remember, if going down below the knee is too difficult for you, painful, you can always stop at the top of the knee. We wanna make sure that you're doing this movement safely. All right, next movement we're gonna be doing is a push-up. So we're gonna start just showing the RX movement of this. Uh, you can do your modifications on the elevated surface if you need to, making sure that those elbows are going out 45 degrees from your body. She's touching her chest. She has a tight core, tight booty. Everything is staying flat the whole time. So we're gonna do five of those. Next movement we're gonna do is a single leg ski jump. So I'm gonna have Kira demonstrate. Starting off slowly, she's tapping her back foot to the side and then bringing the opposite leg behind her, tapping. 
The RX version of this movement is we want you to jump from side to side, really involving the power in your legs. But if this is uncomfortable, you can just do the step from side to side with tapping the opposite leg behind you. So we're going to do that 10 times. And then the last movement that we're going to be doing is cycling crunches. So she's going to demonstrate for us seated on a chair. So we're going to grab the sides of the chair, leaning back, and we're going to bring the knee forward and then try to bring the opposite shoulder towards your leg. If this is too difficult, you can start with bent legs and then just bring one up at a time, just like that. And we're going to be doing 10 of those as well. So the rep scheme is we're going to do four rounds of 10 deadlifts, five push-ups, 10 single leg ski jumps, and then 10 of the cycling crunches. Once you're finished with that, come back to us. We'll do some cool down movements and get to our accessory work. Once you finish up that workout, we're going to do some cool down movements. Uh, Kira's going to demonstrate. We're going to do an up down, which you're going to breathe in, bringing those arms overhead and then rolling down to the ground, holding it at the bottom, letting all of that air out and then rolling back up, bringing those arms overhead. Feel free to sit at the top and the bottom as long as you feel you need to, but get through this five times. Next thing we're going to do is a seated twist. So we're going to Cross that leg over and we're going to use the opposite arm over the leg, using the back arm to grab a chair and then twist your body. Holding that for 10 to 15 seconds and then switching to the opposite side. Once you're done with that, we're gonna move on to what's called a hip airplane. This is our accessory work for the day. I'm gonna have Kira demonstrate. So put a chair or a table out in front of you, something sturdy, we're gonna start by putting our back leg out, just one, lifting it off the ground, and then using the chair and releasing one arm up, twisting our body out, bringing it back in, and then switching and twisting out the opposite arm. If this gets too difficult or just doesn't feel sturdy to you, you can leave the back foot on the ground and just focus on twisting those arms up and down. Our goal is to get you to the point where you don't have to use the chair at all, and we're just focusing on trying to be stable. This is really good for balance and coordination. We're gonna do this two sets of 10. So 10 total, don't worry about doing 10 each side, just get through 10 of the entire movement, and that will conclude our workout for the day.